Hi. Right. Today's episode is my tower garden and my hydroponic garden. I'm going to give an update on when we started and to what it looks like now four weeks later. So let's go. So this is a famous tower garden. We've been picking lettuce from it every day for our salad. We've been picking basil. We gave some away. We picked kale already once, and now we have to harvest again. We're picking every day and it, keeps, it just keeps growing. So this is, I think, four weeks or five weeks old for this one, and I think four weeks old for the, the hydroponic garden. And it's coming amazing. I'm just giving you an update to show you. This is what it looked like before. And now this is what it looks like now. So as you can see, this is the tower garden. If you need more information on this tower garden, please check out the, the website that is showing on how uh, on more information on it. And if you want to update one, that up, that is up. To you. As you can see, we have many varieties of lettuce, herbs, uh, even chai, which is a big surprise to me. Never thought this would grow, and uh, all other herbs that are growing really well. And for me, it's a, it is a really super way to grow your own little garden. So this is the hydroponic garden. Right now it's being watered. I will show you how it is. The water flows through this pipe. And then I have this other tube and, and the tube feeds the plants. And it goes like this and then it drains from here Okay, just started, but this is how it drains out from here, and then it comes in to this uh, this pipe, which goes back to return to the back, to the container, and as it goes back, it feeds these other plants. This part of the, my garden is the, is the part where I'm growing in slabs. There's a small slab and then there's a bigger slab. And it's the first time I'm doing this and I'm just testing, but it's, it's growing. The, the, these are my eggplants on this one and it's much bigger than the ones in the bucket. So I don't know where I'm gonna go next year with this. But it's really, really working. I was just, I just saw this and I go, let me try this. The, 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 the plants are getting really strong. These are my tomato plants. And they grow very well, very well. Another good thing about it is it's lower. With the buckets, the plant starts like 18 inches up. And uh, there's less room to grow. Excuse me, there's a plane, there's a big jet going over. Yeah. So with the slab, they have more room to grow it short. This, this here is my cucumber. And the cucumber plants are growing so easy. It's so nice. And it's growing in the slab. And with the slab, I took water. For now, I've been putting it some every four days or things like that. And it's amazing. I, I really... I, Really surprised at it. Really, really surprised at it. I am going to. I have a strawberry over there that is coming. I don't know how that's going to grow, but I'm. I'm just trying. Um. The, the, 
the, the thing with the, you know, I, I said that I wanted cucumbers to brew. I made a joke that I wanted to see 10 cucumbers on the vine. The way how it's going to go with, it, with all these flowers, if all these flowers turn into cucumbers, I'm going to ha have a lot more than that. It's gonna, I'm going to be overloaded with cucumbers. One thing you have to know with, with tomatoes and cucumbers, you have to prune them. There are things that you call suckers. Say for example, this tomato plant here. There's a sucker here. This, I don't have a scissor. You cut it out. You don't want that. You just want one, one strand to go up. That's it. With a cucumber, I just want one strand to go up. Because if I, if I make two, what is going to happen after it gets up there, which is very soon, I'm going to have to lower it. So with just being one, one plant going up, it's easier to, to, to lower. It will bend. If there's two and you lower, it will tend to maybe split and break. So I'm just growing one. It's hard for me to explain to you what it is now until when it's really big and then I will show you. So that so that's it for my cucumber. I'm really, really, really happy with it. So these are my other uh, pepper plants, all the pepper plants I have. They are uh, have Wiriwiri and Habanero. And here I have my eggplant. So we're gonna get a lot of eggplants actually. This here is my Swiss chard. It is so amazing, I've never had this. Last year I planted in the hydroponic also. It didn't come like this, but I know why, why it was. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the, how beautiful this thing is. This is so beautiful. I am so amazed that I grow something like this. I, I've never seen this size in the store. It is very wonderful. I'm really happy doing this. I wanna show you my bak chow that is two weeks old. This is what it is, two weeks old. I think I should pick, I should harvest now, but I wanna wait to see one more week to see where it goes. And uh, it's the same thing I did with the Swiss chard. Last week we wanted to pick the leaves, but then I said, leave it. I want to see where, it grow, where it's going uh, without it becoming hard. I want to show something without breaking my plant. This is what it is. Uh, the roots are growing. This is what it is. It's growing in this cup and that's the root system in the water. Isn't that amazing? I even tried the chives inside this system and it's growing. It's just an experiment. This is gourmet, bo this uh, Boston lettuce I think what this is. This is Boston lettuce, and it's growing amazing. I have at the bottom over there, I have the, the celery and basil also. So I just want to show you how, what happens here. See, this is what happens. The water goes in the bucket, and then it comes out, and then it runs into the pipe. Before, when I was showing there, it was not full as yet, for you to get the idea. These are my tomato plants. I have many kinds. I have uh, beef steak, cherry tomatoes, orange, pear shaped pear tomatoes, large cherry tomatoes. There are different varieties of tomatoes. So this is a container, this is a barrel. If you see the episode before, it has a pump, it has the water with the nutrients. This, there's one pump here, a small pump that feeds the return drain for the, the plants. And then you have this one, is a big pump that feeds for the, the bucket. 
and this two inch pipe is the return drain. See, it's going out right now, the pump is working and the water is returning through here. This, this here is Guyanese Poibachi. I have a lot of problems brewing. Last year I tried it in the hydroponic system and it absolutely did not work. This year what I'm going to do, maybe next week, I'm going to try one plant again. But this year we're planting it in the soil. This is what it looks like now and later it's going to grow into bush. This is spinach. This is growing. I don't know. Should I let it grow? Should I stop? I don't know. If somebody knows what I should do with this, either cut it or let it grow back, please leave a comment because I have no idea about this. So this is the update of my tower garden and my hydroponic garden. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly. I'm learning as I go. If anybody has any comments on this, if they have a better idea, if they see I'm making a mistake, please send me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. And um, I will do another episode about this maybe in about two months or so or later. I'll do a little updates, but I will do a big episode when the fruits are really big. Right now there's lots of tomatoes, cucumber flowers, but there's no cucumber. There's pepper, but it's all green. So when everything ripens in about a month or six weeks or so, I will do another update. So thank you for spending this time with me. And you have a great evening. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe.